Hey guys, what up? Kev here, and I got a throwback unboxing for you. Unboxing knife, CKF Satori 2.0 in the new DLC with satin blade version, updated detent, excellent knife. Look at that reverse flick right-handed. Bang, excellent. I can get it lefty, but I got to like climb the side of the pivot, do some weird stuff to get it. <laughs> Come on, baby. There we go. Um, got this from NC Blade. Excellent people over there. I want to give a shout out and uh, hope you guys can uh, pray for Tara over at NC Blade. She's having, it looks like a major... Uh, neck surgery or spine surgery uh, tomorrow, which for me is December 15th. So I don't know when this will post, but uh, she'll she'll hopefully be recovering at that point and uh, doing well. So shout out to Tara at NC Blade. I love them. Uh, they're great people over there. Uh, but anyway, this package is from Lewis over at Addicted to Knives. That's Addicted T.O. Knives. He's on Instagram. He's on YouTube as well. And uh, I loaned him my uh, EMP EDC Nimble after our meetup in November. And he is sending that back. And I believe he put in one of his knives. Get the kids a monitor here. Yeah, this really is a throwback, guys. I don't know if you remember these unboxings from like really early this year, I think it was. Or maybe even last year, I used to do them down here in my dining room, uh, you know, like this with shitty lighting and all types of stuff. And that's what we're doing for you here. Because, you know, it's how I roll, baby. I'm just kidding. I just thought I'd do it. I wanted to get it filmed and it seemed appropriate. So I got two cases here. I don't know what's in these. I sent him one knife. This feels like more than one knife. So we'll see. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. All right, so I think this is mine. We'll see. The concept pouch. Yep. Here she is, guys. I absolutely missed this knife. This is the EMP EDC Nimble with the frag pattern. And this is the one with the reverse tuxedo. Uh, has an edge on it. KME edge on it for my buddy Joe. Local buddy. Love him. Great action, just a fantastic knife. And I love this reverse tuxedo version with the black washed blade and the um, stone washed titanium handle. Just looks sexy, doesn't it, guys? I know, I know it does. Y'all need to tell me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so that's my pouch, I think. My little concept pouch, because I remember having that. Then we have a knife i've never seen oh god i think i've seen this before please tell me this isn't the knife i think it is we have this thing which looks really nice you got uh titanium with some blue accents uh i don't like all the holes and shit in there let's see what we got inside yep this is it motherfucker it's an m tech Guys, this is an M Tech knife in S thirty five VN, I believe. I'm pretty positive he he told me it was S thirty five before. Yep, there it is, S thirty five. I don't know if you can see that, but look at this. It's titanium, and it's got unbelievable action. It's got a pretty good detent. I mean, I'll try to fail it. I can't. Fuck. I mean. This thing is actually put together really well. No no blade play, no lock rock. It's got very smooth action on the clothes. So apparently m -Tech can build a good knife if they want to. I mean, isn't that crazy to you? To me it is. They built the Shadow Ranger, guys. The freaking Shadow Ranger. The greatest EDC knife of all time. The greatest assistant knife ever. But they also built this thing. Look at that. Mirrored fucking satin on it. So, 
M-Tech can make good knives, apparently. Who knows? I don't even know if M-Tech makes their own knives. Like, maybe it's just one of the OEMs we know making their cheap-ass knives. But this thing, I gotta admit, man, it even has a fuller. Can I... <laughs> I can reverse flick it. It's ergonomic. I remember handling this at the meetup, and just my mind has been blown. Like, it's just dumb. But I think it was like a hundred bucks. I think he spent like a hundred bucks on it. But still, this is a good knife. I just said that out loud. I mean, as long as we can corroborate it being real S35 and heat treated well, I mean, this is a good knife. It's got a good detent. You can reverse flick it. I mean, can't believe I just said that. Okay, I need to put this away. Oh my God. Why did you send that to me, Lewis? You bastard. Fucking Lewis. Wearing my Knife Life shirt. Blade HQ, baby. Shout out to Blade HQ, too. It's another retailer. I really like one guy over there named Dallas. He's a really cool guy. I've been chatting with him on Instagram a little bit. Uh, awesome dude. Awesome dude. He uh, helped us along with Kurt. Helped uh, get some prizes in for Knives Live 2021. Shout out to those guys for that. That's awesome. Um, so, we also have a Wee Knives Fornix. I believe that's what this is. Never handled this one either. Pretty sure this is a Farron Forge design. Ooh, we got a weak detent. That's okay. It does have some Gavco vibes, and you'll know why that's pertinent in a second. <laughs> Uh, but I'm pretty sure this is a Ferrum Forge design. I, I can't be certain. It could be a Gavco, I guess. Uh, let's try to reverse flick it. Weak detent my hand. I'm just kidding. Uh, you put pressure down on the lock bar as a lefty, and it kind of strengthens the detent, and you end up with a stronger detent. That's how the nimble is as well. I put a little pressure down. Whoa. It fires out of there compared to right-handed... It's a little weaker, you know what I mean? Um, so it's excellent. I love that. Being left-handed sometimes is a benefit. I went a little high there. Ergos are pretty good. I mean, I feel that clip a little bit. That's left-handed. Let's feel it right-handed. Oh, it's reversible. Nice. So I'm surprised this is a Ferrum Forge because they don't usually like reversible clips for some odd reason. Uh, feels pretty good in hand. It's a nice size knife. I mean, we're talking, what? Three and a half inches, probably, on that blade. I mean, oh, lefty issues again. 3.1 on the nimble, and you got a good chunk more. Yeah, I'd say three and a half. Um, the other knife I have, or the knife I have on me today, it was the unboxing knife, Satori 2.0. Yeah, I think the Satori is like 3.3, .3, and it's even bigger than that. I also have, I got a lot of black and uh, uh, titanium knives on me today. The Asher Nomad in titanium and M390, guys. Budget knife of the year for me. This might be one of the best knives I've ever handled. I don't care the price point. It's only 96 bucks. This thing is fucking incredible. This is a game-changing knife. Sorry. 3.25 on that guy, I believe. So... Yeah, I'd say three and a half on this Fornix here. Let's check the action. Very tight pivot, it feels like. I feel like I could get that detent to feel better. I mean, it's already okay. But I could probably make it better just by tuning that pivot. I mean, it is super tight. I'm not going to mess with it. It's not my knife. But, I mean, you think skiff bearings or something and blah, blah, blah. You could probably tune this up. Very interesting looking knife. I never was interested in this because I just thought it was ugly, but I gotta say the ergos feel fantastic. You get a little poon spoon right here. Ride the ride the lightning, baby. Um, but yeah, look at that little poon. That's kind of what makes me not like it, which is funny because if you look at my designs, um, some of, I like to draw the little uh, the little poon notch in there sometimes, so it's funny that I don't like this, but I think I just don't like how far forward it is. It has that flipper tab that we've seen before, uh, kind of like the Wii Sear, and I believe the Stinger has it as well, and the um, 
Ah, oh, what's that fucking knife? The Sakshi has it. Uh, yeah, I really like this. It's got a good detail. I mean, it does. It just isn't. It isn't really drop shut. So, like, I think the detent is solid. I think just it's a little bit tight in the pivot. One little turn, and it would probably be really good on this. Uh, I'll talk to Lewis about that. Uh, I don't like the lock bar all that much. There's not that much access to it. You can see. See that? You just have that chamfer there. There's no real cutout. So you kind of got to go in with the corner. And then you got to, yeah, you got to get it to pass. And But this is a cool knife. I'm actually glad he sent this to me because I never would have handled it otherwise, I think. And that choil feels really good. Definitely some Ferrum Forge vibes here if it is one of their designs. I believe it is, though. Uh, deep carry clip that is reversible. Pretty cool. Last but absolutely not least, look at this. We got just plain titanium and like black stuff going on here. I mean, look. <laughs> just all of it. It's crazy. Anyway, last but not least, the Gabco Nurse. This is the drop version of it. So this is a We Made knife. Uh, it's a production version. You guys know I have a custom, which I absolutely love, guys. One of my favorite knives. As much as, you know, I've had some issues with Gavco himself in terms of customer service. Um, I, you know, I love the knife. And this one's cool. The centering is all jacked up. I mean, look at that. Way off. Way, way, way off. Um... But as a lefty, let's see, I'm going to ride the clip. Oh, yeah, you can flick it. You can flick it. There's a little bit of play. Not really, so that kind of worries me a little bit on the centering there. I don't know if I could get that centered by tightening the pivot. It's not rubbing, but it's close. Um, so I'll talk to um, Lewis about it. Let's try this flipper tab. So it works as a flipper. You could fail it. Yeah, it's pretty light. But that's because you can easily reverse flick it. Now, guys, everybody knows this knife is screaming. Just absolutely screaming to have this flipper tab chopped off and turned into a choil. Uh, just like the custom nurse. I don't know if he does a flipper nurse custom. Um, but obviously, you know, chopping that off makes a big difference because this knife, my custom, one of my favorite ergonomic knives, you climb up into that choil, oh, damn it, sharp, climb up into that choil and it just feels amazing, right? It turns a much smaller knife into something that somebody with a larger hand can carry, right? Because if I hold this in this back grip, I mean, my large glove size hand is really hanging off. Uh, and it, it works. Like, I could do it, but, like, I don't like it. Uh, it. It's not a preference, right? Having that choil would be awesome. So that's definitely something, if you have one of these, I would totally recommend you go contact the Knife Modders or BJ Hill or somebody and have that flipper tab chopped off because... I mean, it's an okay flipper tab, but it's kind of pokey, to be honest, and kind of uh, peckery for the size of the knife. So I think it makes a huge difference not having that and just being able to do Because everybody loves a reverse flick, right? You can even thumb flick it, I bet. I mean, I bet you left-handed could do it. Yeah. Um, just not good at it right-handed. Anyway, you have some interesting milling pattern right here. This is a green one. I don't know how much these go for. Probably like 250, 300 on drop, which I don't know how that works anymore. If they still sell on their website or if they only sell on Amazon. Action is pretty good. You have a pretty heavy blade. I mean, it's pretty thick stock. I mean, not thick, but hefty. And it's a chunk of it, right? This one has a flat grind or saber grind. Um, yeah, it's done really well. Uh, we does a good job, guys. It just really, for me, with we, it's like, how is their detent going to be, right? Like, is it going to fail? This one's pretty good. That one's a little light. But I get it, because you also have the hull for deployment on both of these. 
So you want it to work for both. And that's why I just prefer chopping the flippers off and having a choil and then going um, with uh, reverse flick only and thumb flick or whatever. But anyway, really cool knives. That is the Gavco Drop Nurse. Thank you to Lewis for loaning this guy to me. We also have the Wee Knives Fornix. Uh, a really sweet knife. Uh, again, thank you to Lewis. Uh, this is one I wouldn't have checked out. This honestly might be one I would want. I would probably just find a way to grind that off. I would grind off the... Um, the poon because it i don't know it just looks dumb it looks like a light like just looks fucking weird to me so that um we also had the emp edc nimble reverse tuxedo comeback look how sexy that is guys look at that edge too um we had this comeback in guys uh the thick boy is dropping on saturday the 18th so this might be posted after that but uh, if you missed it, sorry if you got one. I'm very happy that you got in on the Thick Boy drop. But there will be another drop of the Nimbles as well. So keep an eye out for that. Then, of course, we had what I carried today. CKF Satori 2.0 DLC in Satin NC Blade. Thank you so much. And Asher Knife Co. Nomad Frame Lock Titanium in M3. 90 budget knife of the year possibly knife of the year this thing is fucking stupid just so good that's it guys i love you all thanks for the throwback video or thanks for watching the throwback video subscribe to the channel if you haven't hit that notification bell there's a join button down there see my flabby fucking muscles uh join button down there for memberships patreon all that stuff is in the description got a teespring going for detent merch if you haven't heard yet i'm working on some knife designs and i'm working with my buddy colin and we have a company called devo knives um go check out our instagram devo d-i-v-o underscore knives on instagram uh, we're working on the website right now as well but uh check that out we got a couple cool projects moving right now anyway I love you guys. Absolutely love you. Happy holidays to everybody. Uh, have a fantastic day. And I will catch you later.